Hey YouTube, we're on Main Street today. We're at the Car Free Day Street Festival here and we're asking people which culture has the best food in Vancouver. This is Vancouver Talks. Which culture has the best food in Vancouver? Hard Japanese or Korean? Okay. We have good Italian. Italian. A lot yeah, of good Italian, Italian spots. Well, Chinese, obviously, too. Exactly, yeah. Well, we're from Richmond, so a lot of... <laughs> a lot of Asian food. Yeah, there. a lot of Asian food. Yeah. So we like Asian food. You gotta go with, like, one Pacific. Yeah, which Asian. Pacific? Right. Like, what's on your top of your list? I'm from Singapore, so I'll go with Singaporean food. Yeah, I'm Malaysian I've never food. guessed he's from Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm half <laughs> Chinese, half Malaysian, so... Oh, shit! Yeah, yeah. That's a good comp. <laughs> yeah, I'll go... <laughs> I have a couple number two there. But the second, I will go with, like, Japanese. Food. Probably okay. Japanese, yeah. Japanese, yeah. I think Japanese is yeah, up Japanese there. Food. Like the generally the Asian. <laughs> Asian food. Yeah, oh, okay. the, 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 it's so good. Like all the Japanese is really really good and like uh, like you know, the ramen, the hot pot. Oh okay, ramen. Yeah. So good. <laughs> I have eaten Mexican food so far and I enjoy tacos for a street party. It's easy, handheld. I can walk and I can drink margaritas. So I think Mexican is pretty good for this. Vancouver, you can eat in a different country every night of the week for months, and I like it all. That's one of the reasons I love it here. Probably more favorite on the sushi. There's some pretty good East Indian curries in town. Mm. Malaysian is good. Mm. And, you know, there's the occasional steak and potato. That That's true. Right? And there's some seafood there's here. Sea yeah. There, there's, there, there are things like that. Yeah. Vancouver, yeah. Salmon's pretty big. In this, in this, in BC in general. Yeah, as yeah. long as it's sustainable. Yeah. Not uh, farm salmon. No. He's only been here for six months. I go down Japanese. I love Japanese food anyway. Everybody loves Japanese food. Uh, you guys got some good ramen places over here. Okay. Um, there's a few good Thai spots as well, but I would say Vietnamese or, or Japanese is the main food I would eat over here. Jamaicans and Hispanics. If you go to a restaurant and there's not a Jamaican guy in the back, like making the food, yeah. or like a Hispanic person in the back, don't eat there because it's trash. If you go to a Jamaican spot and there's an Asian guy cooking the food, don't trust it. If you go to a, a Hispanic spot and there's white people making the food, you're gonna end up with a shit place like Bandidas that makes vegan fucking tacos. Yeah, I'm throwing shade. Fuck that place. <laughs> and if you actually go to like a Japanese restaurant and it's like Chinese people making food, they're Oriental, but it's different. Yeah. Oriental. Yeah. You're gonna have like really crappy sushi. Don't yeah. go. If you go to a, a Japanese spot and you think they're Japanese, they're probably Korean. 90% of the time. You know how you know? Because like growing up here, like there's so many different kind of Asians that you like kind of learn dialects. It doesn't sound like they're talking out of an anime cartoon. They're probably not Japanese. It's true. Where do you usually go? Downtown or? That depends. Like trying to find spots with Instagram and like other downtown. Okay. I went to Richmond once. Yeah, Richmond has a lot of Asian food. Yeah, I don't know all the best spots yet, but... Yeah, you're getting there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So if you do come, just, just go. You, you'll find. Just Google search it, you'll find. What's your favorite place so far? Like, where, like what place do you've gone to that you actually really like and you would go back to? Um, I'm a vegetarian and I love meat. <laughs> you know, the meat, the restaurant. <laughs> oh! Okay, so it's a vegetarian restaurant. Yeah, there is one on Main, there is one downtown. It's okay. like meat, meat on Main, meat in Gaustown. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll link that below for people. Yeah, there. it's okay. a really good one. I love this place. What, what's your favorite Japanese spot? Ramen and Dembo. So oh, okay. they're down on the uh, Repsol. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll link that as well. Yeah. So then they've got one at uh, Ramen Dembo, and they've got another one over on West Fourth and uh, Broad as well. That's such a good spot to go check it out. Yeah. Recommended by him. Recommended for sure. Yeah. Best sushi place then? It's a lot of sushi places, right? There's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're all different. Yeah, they're all different. It's true. Different service and different areas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, if you guys come to Vancouver, sushi. Just walk into a sushi <laughs> yeah, place yeah, and take that as your base, and then walk into another one and go, okay, that was better or worse than that one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> where do you usually go? Well, we, we usually go to the same restaurant in um, Richmond, Matsuyama. Matsuyama, yeah. Matsuyama. Have you yeah. been? Oh, yes, I've been there. I've been there. <laughs> I'll look, I'll look it's good, right? Yeah. yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Proximity makes it really easy. Dream sushi up the block here is at 27th. And main. I'll, I'll link that below as well. Kitsaya on uh, Broadway and out there somewhere. Oh, okay. I'll link that as well. What's your usual? Like, what are you usually. I love Asian food as well. As a Montrealer born and raised, having noodle soup for the first time was a game changer. Oh, wow. Having barbecue duck at Kanji Noodle House was a bit of a game changer. Okay. Barbecue duck is actually probably my number one indulgence that I would. Okay. Kanji Noodle House is on uh, Broadway. Main and Main Broadway. Broadway yes. I'll, I'll link it below as well. Go to place for Jamaican food is Bounty's Pizza Jerk on 11th and Commercial. They have the 
best Jamaican food in the city, hands down. Shout out to my man Bounty. He's a good dude. He takes care of everybody. He treats everybody like family. If you want good atmosphere, a good like down home cook, like Caribbean dish, you go to Bounty's Plate. Bounty's Pizza Jerk on Commercial. Commercial 11. Commercial is like one of those streets that's like most of the people who own those shops are actually from those places. Except for like I said, Badina is that piece of shit place that keeps trying to feed people veggie tacos and like vegan burritos. Like who the fuck do you think you are? Go like save the planet or something. Don't don't do that. <laughs> I'll link all those places below, including the shitty taco place. Don't like the shitty taco place. Blame that person on the ground. <laughs> that place is trash. That place is hot garbage. I'd rather eat toilet paper that just got wiped out of fucking Donald Trump's ass. Oh, I was just telling my friend, um, there's this place on commercial Mezcal. It's like more authentic Mexican, which I really like, but like all the other ones are like pretty shit. So. Yeah, shit. for your just Mexican my... viewers, come out, check it out. Go to Mezcal. Yeah, go to Mezcal. Mezcal. Check out I'll Kisitanto. link it, I'll link it below. <laughs> I'll link it below. Kisitanto for Japanese, Italian fusion is really good. Okay. Chinatown. Chinatown? Yeah, we need more fusion. Although, I think. although Chinatown's kind of changing. It's, yeah. It's kind of little like by little, yeah. merging yeah. to like a hipster kind of place. True. Yeah. What food do you think they're kind of missing in Vancouver? I don't know what they're missing per se. Like, you know, lots of pizza joints around, but pizza's okay. Like a proper, uh, you know, like American style, like the big fat slices you fold in half. Yeah. That would be good. That would be good. Or like some English pub grub stuff. I haven't found too much of that. But there's not enough like Spanish, Mexican, not like that are actually mm. really good. Yeah, I feel like we get like everything. We're pretty lucky. We have like all like sorts of food with like any culture we can kind but of But then again it. there's a lot of culture so that's kind of difficult to tell. Like I'm Serbian and I feel like there isn't enough Serbian That'll people here that's or true. food. <laughs> so that's missing for me. What's the Serbian yeah. food? Serbian food is a lot of meat. It's a lot of meat. Ah. A lot of meat. Yeah. I'm down with that. <laughs> yeah. I'm totally down with that. I would like to see more authentic Italian. There's a lot of high-end Italian. We got a few. A we few got um, yeah. that place in Chapinos or the place in Yale Town's good. Global Group has some decent Italian offerings, but yeah. they're not not real. Meatball like, subs, chicken parms, like that kind of fast food, comfort food that I grew up with in Montreal is not. Thanks for watching. Share, like, subscribe. Don't forget to watch our other videos. Check out the M Cube channel for vlogs. M Squirrel.